a summary video on water transport in plants. This topic is all about trying to answer how water makes it from the roots in the ground right up to the tips of the leaves in the very tallest of trees. Water is transported in vascular tissue, xylem to be specific, and you know all about xylem. There's xylem vessels and there's xylem tracheids. Water enters the plant by means of osmosis. It's going to move from where it's in high water concentration in the soil to where it's in low water concentration, the root hair cells, all passively, all by means of osmosis. Once water has entered the root hair cells, it moves eventually to the xylem at the centre of the root. So you have to imagine this continual movement of water molecules from the soil into the cells of the root hairs and then onwards into the xylem vessels or tracheids. This continual movement of water molecules into the xylem serves to push those already there further upwards and this is known as root pressure. Root pressure can really only account for the upward movement of water over relatively short distances, approximately a metre or thereabouts. So root pressure is really like this pushing force and this pushing force is simply not strong enough to overcome gravity. So how does water travel against gravity and make it up to the tips of the very tallest of trees? Well, the explanation came from two scientists working in Trinity College in Dublin in the 1800s. The explanation was put forward by Henry Dixon and John Jolly. They explained the movement of water as basically being pulled upwards. The best way to account for the upward movement of water using Dixon and Jolie's theory is to use tact. Transpiration, adhesion, cohesion, tension. Let's begin with transpiration. Transpiration is the loss of water vapour from the surface of a leaf and you know it's the undersurface of the leaf really. In the leaf you remember that spongy mesophyll layer, it's filled with many air spaces and in those air spaces is water vapour. This water vapour will diffuse or evaporate out from the air spaces through the stomata into the atmosphere. And because water behaves like a chain, it pulls other water molecules upwards through the plant to fill the space of the water that's just evaporated. So why does or how does water behave like a chain? Well, it's basically all down to these two properties of water, adhesion and cohesion. Firstly, let's cover adhesion. Adhesion means that water has a great affinity for other surfaces, in particular the walls of the xylem in this case, and it's actually the cellulose in the xylem that is attracting the water molecules. Cohesion is the stronger of the two forces. Cohesion means that water has a great affinity for other water molecules. They'll actually bond together using hydrogen bonds and it's a very, very strong connection. So water behaves like one continuous chain and it's all down to adhesion and cohesion. Water has a great affinity for the walls of the xylem, that's adhesion, and an even greater affinity for other water molecules, the stronger of the two forces, cohesion. Let's now consider this transpirational pull. So transpiration is resulting in this chain of water molecules being pulled upwards through the plant. And remember that water is behaving like a chain because of the cohesive forces between the water molecules and not forgetting those adhesive forces between the water molecules and the walls of the xylem vessels and tracheids. As transpiration takes place and those water molecules exit the leaf via the stomata, this exerts a tension on this chain or this column of water and results in it being pulled upwards. You know that xylem forms these long hollow continuous tubes from root really up to leaf tip. This tension would ordinarily result in the inward collapse of such tiny tubes, but they are well adapted to this tension. They have lignin which prevents their inward collapse. So when we want to account for the movement of water from root right up to the very tallest tips of the very tallest trees against the force of gravity, we have to use tact. Transpiration, adhesion, cohesion, tension. Any answer to a question on water transport in a plant must always begin with root pressure and then go into tact. Please do not leave root pressure out. Best of luck, make sure you do past examination questions and make sure you use your own textbook. Now might be a good time to go over the structure of phloem and the plant structure in general.